Was looking to go between Barmer and Bartholomew. And it's a lovely finish there by the Swindon Wildcats. Totally against the runner play, but Swindon are 1-0 up. It looks like he may have won it. And uh, just a little bit of a hush around the whole ice arena there. Just under 10 minutes into the period. Bartholomew and Swindon on the break. It's Jones. Heads past. That's a lovely turn by Jones and a good pass. Good skating though there. Still the opportunity. And it's in. He did well with the stick to try and drag it back into a shooting lane. And he found the corner of the net. And it's 2-0 to Swindon Wildcats. I've got to say, the first was really against the runner play, but in the last five minutes, they're Swindon growing, into, growing, it, growing they? into the game. Used his body well time. there, lovely bit of skill. Glenn Billing, though, not giving him an inch of space, and will take the puck off him for a moment. Good Five pass. Minutes. Bobby Chamberlain. It's gone in, surely. What? And have given the goal. Yes. It. Even the net came off. I was getting a bit confused. I thought it'd go, but the net was off. It was taken off by a man. The Bobby Chamberlain. Into the goal. Where the goal it's gone in, been. surely. What? And have given the goal. four on the clock. And Hull keep making a habit of this. This is Sheffield last week. Right, we've got a great opportunity here. Bottom of the back. Well, it's in. It's in. What a finish. Just what you said, that's what we needed. News break, quick break. Lovely. Right, we've got a great Let's opportunity here. Back in it, Lee Bonner Bonner gets a well, it's in! It's in! It's in! What a finish! He was looking for that, he was eyeing up that gap. There was a little bit of easy traffic for Marv, particularly in that second period where there was a lot going on him for the first 10 minutes or so, but they were all just straight into the gloves. The difficulty is with McLaughlin is to get the fewer shots you face, the easier it is to switch off. Yeah. He's behind him, I'm leaving this one to you, pal. Yes, fire uh, away. Fisher making the opportunity where we're really hard work and then Speck just fires it home. And what a strike by ML Speck. No, we're quite well, happy with everything the in the ball. Kill the time if they can. They prefer to get the puck down the other end and score the empty netter, but whilst it's tied up, it's not a danger yet. And now it's out. It's Bebris. Finds it to his right, and it's in. And through the traffic, the Swindon Wildcats with 1.13 on the clock. Tie this one up at three apiece. Ulrich with holes first. Mar out of his crease. Ulrich looked to pull left and use the back. Labuelo heads down the ice. McLaughlin went out of his crease, backing up. Does well. Gets the pads outstretched for a player. And I know it's only the second game of the season for Hull. First for Swindon. This is pressure. Bonner skates in. Looks to oh, no goal. Malazinski, one goal on the game. Good Fires save. Into the pads of McLaughlin. Good save by Jordan McLaughlin there. No goals after two each. Chorus of noise for the Swindon team. Chamberlain is going to be a bit more direct here. Look to fire that one with pace and power past Mar, but it's wide right. McLaughlin well out of his crease again. Heads down. Pad save. Lure to McLaughlin's right. Time for the big man to make an impact once again. And it's oh! in! I've got to say, I've never seen Emil take a penalty shot before. It's exactly what I expected. Just First league game for Swindon. Can he tie this one up after four penalties? Oh, Jordan McLaughlin coming right out of his net there. No goal, it's stuck under McLaughlin. Sort of starfished on top of it. Bobby Young heads down to the puck. Takes it in stride. A little bit more patient than Emil Svek. Bit of stick work. Oh, looks to try and take it underneath. The skates almost of Mar. Swindon, I believe it's Colby Tower. McLaughlin looking for what it. What a save! He's thrown it! Up win. Shots and the whole record Seahawks complete 
a four-point weekend to open up the NIHL National Division.